all right today we are here back with the greatest one of the greatest anime of all time exploring some more of the story mode of one piece today we're back on burning blood and we're going to be going crazy just getting through some of the events at marine fort as y'all know that's my favorite season and one piece burning blood highlights it very very well so today we're going to be continuing to take on three admirals we're not all the way to the pedestal yet to save ace but we're going to be taking them on with marco luffy and some other characters from the show let me know down below do y'all love one piece and how it's been getting lately but we had to take a sneak peek of the past. Hope you'll enjoy it. And so let's get right into One Piece Burning Blood. I am not going to be the only one to lose here. Guy Sensei, please let this work. It is now or never. Fist of a guy like Rot Lee. Leg weight all can't stop me. Drunken fist at top speed. Eight gates flow get by D. Hurricane. Fist up, put me no talk. Just hands. Leave me lip. Go to the all right we're back here on one piece burning blood and as y'all see today i'm excited to return to the specific crazy parts before marine ford i'm not gonna lie a lot of different things that were happening inside of this and i also want to ask before is this game fully just marine ford or is there actual more things past this we're gonna find out today though we're doing something execution last time we fought mihawk and okay yeah this is when jimbe throws my boy luffy over the um over the wall okay yeah so yeah okay there goes little oars jr he opened up a little pathway and this is where luffy the only way luffy can get through is when he throws him over so we're gonna have to fight the the admirals i seen on the beginning there was a little tag that said like the clear conditions to beat this we have to survive so i'm guessing we have to fight all three admirals oh my god my boy luffy looks drippy as hell Okay, Straw Hat, Luffy, and now we're right in front of the three admirals. I expect this one to be pretty crazy. Like I said, it says survive, so honestly, it's probably not gonna be that easy. It's probably gonna be like purely damaged, but we'll see how um how this goes. <laughs> he's always such a troll, bro. Hearing him talk anytime, just like you could just hear he's just a troll in his voice. Luffy's tired as hell already, as y'all can see. He was tired before the fight, and just going into it. He's a, he was already tired, like I said. Oh my god. That, all right, so we're going to have to survive. So that's the, the point of this mission. Um, We're going to want to be extremely careful. Hit him with the gum gum gotling. Yep, yep, yep. Hit him into a... Oh, I want to do a... That's going to hurt. That's going to hurt. Okay, that, that hurt. That's not what we want to do. We got 40 seconds left. I see in the middle. That's how long we got to survive. Okay. Hit him with the... All right, all right, yep. All right, here we go. We hit him with this. If it lands, please land. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, we're taking Kizaru with us. I'm not gonna lie, we probably could beat this mission if we had enough time to fight all of them. Yep. Gear third. Good damage. <clears throat> oh yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Kizaru dead ass almost just died from that alone. And there goes Kizaru. Yep. Now we got two more admirals. Oh my god, that should have landed, bro. Are you serious? Oh, get off the ground, boy. Yep. Yo, why does he keep getting knocked out of that? And time's up. We have over 50% health. I'm not gonna lie. We, we could have. I could kind of see us maybe beating something like that. Yep, right through them. He's already shows up. Kick to the face. So my man Luffy was going against like impossible odds in this mission, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Devil Ace, like <laughs> the odds were stacked against Luffy. Oh, I owe much to your grandpa. What a shame. You chose the path leading to death. And then Marco shows up, saves my boy. You already know how it goes. Admiral, who's that? First Division Commander Marco. Yes, sir. The guy with the worst haircut in One Piece. There's a lot of bad haircuts, <laughs> but Marco might have the worst in anime. Okay, but we take down that mission. Luffy hits level three. And yes, sir, that's what I like to see. Okay, so we break off into the right now. What's this over here? The final line of defense. The three admirals are too much for Luffy. He makes a difficult de decision putting everything on the line. The, the clear condition is survive again. So we have to survive for two missions in this. Okay. What's this right here? 
Oh yeah, Luffy's run out of energy once again. Anki Zaru shows up. So, man, that boy Kizaru would just go wherever he wants in this fight. Yo, why is he looking at Luffy like that? I said survive. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna beat Kizaru. Fuck surviving. Holy shit. Maybe I'm wrong. Yo, why does he do so much damage? Hit him with the gum gum gotling. Hit him with the gum gum pistol. Yes, sir. I wanted to hit him with the, um... Yo, I'm not gonna lie, he does so much damage. It's like, how do you get close to a nigga like that? Holy shit. Okay. Alright, Kizaru, you don't have to do all that. Alright, come on, let's get close to him now. Let's get a little bit of damage in. Y'all know, know we not blocking all game. Hit him with gum gum pistol. You don't know what the fuck you talking to, Kizaru? Yes, sir. And time's up. We survived that. I'm not gonna lie, they should just make us beat that guy. I'm pretty sure I can beat Kizaru. So, uh oh, oh, oh my God! That should look like he impaled Luffy for a second. Oh my God! There goes Whitebeard catching my boy. <laughs> Yo, my boy Whitebeard is like, oh my God! You got fried. You seem to have lost your touch, Whitebeard. Oh, how the mighty have fallen! So let this reckless piece of trash lead your men. Damn. Yo, what the fuck am I looking at? Where is Ivankov at looking with that head like that? The boy has done enough. <laughs> this nigga might be just throwing him on the ground. Oh my god. Stop getting in my way, aces. The only brother I have in the world. Yup. Damn. You talk and no substance. You are young and foolish. He said, but I have a soft spot for fools. And that's Luffy falling to the Admirals. I guess this next part will be Ivankov like giving the energy so I can continue fighting here. Um That's what I'm guessing. Oh yeah, that's where he grabs her and tells her like I have to keep going. Okay. I have to do everything in my power, even if it means I die along the way. Oh, he said doing so, but please, Eva, let me fight. If I can't fight now, we already know what happens here. He gets the shot, and he, he gets to keep going, which is, you know, he needed that. Holy shit, everybody leveled up. Okay, okay. Oh, my God. How many level ups are we getting right now? Sabo. I didn't even know we had Sabo unlocked. Okay, so Luffy races to reach Ace in time. Battle conditions win. So we actually have to win this mission now. Whatever we do right here is actually going to be, we actually have to beat this mission. So, um, I want to see who we're fighting real quick. Okay, Kizaru lights a blast at us. We dodge it barely. Luffy light speed feet. <laughs> that boy, all right. We got the pacifistas. Okay. Okay, so the fake Kumas arrived. Do we have to fight the fake Kuma? Oh, we do. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, so we had to... The branch attacks. Oh, okay, I get it. Yep. Cena was. I don't know how to do the guard break branch. Like that? Or. I'm not understanding what they wanted me to do here. Um. It's a branch. So we have to do some type of branch. And I understand what it's saying, but it's like, um. It wants us to do some type of extra extension, uh, to do what it wants us to do. Range attack. I don't really understand what they mean by, uh, the guard break branch. But let me just press retry. It should tell me what exactly what to do again in the beginning. Alright, let's get right. 
All right. Okay. Uh, the guard break ranch is X. So square, square, then square plus A. So square plus X. Okay, I get it. Yo, let me do it. Kuma? Yo, Kuma's being gay. Yeah, I'm about to say. There we go. Yep. That's it right there. Yep. Okay, we got it. Good shit. You can branch into other variety attacks. Uh, L1 swap. How do you swap? Oh, shit. Okay. So you have to just. That was pretty easy. Okay, buddy. Yo, what are you supposed to do? I think you're supposed to attack after they do this. I'm not understanding what to do at this point. So, I'm, wait, oh no, this only comes out when you need help, which is kind of weird to me. I'm not really getting this part. We'll be right back, you guys. All right, we're back and I get it now. I'm not gonna lie, we're going too fast, so I'm just gonna start reading it. You can swap to come to a unit assist. Unit assist costs three bars of more. Burning Gaji, if you use one less, you can use this move. Okay. Oh, yeah, so you basically now they're just telling you to use it while you're getting attacked, and that's pretty easy. On you, press L2 to fight back with the Unity Clash. Okay. Okay, so basically the Unity Clash is when they when they use their Unity, you have to use yours. He's not really using his though. There we go. He's, he's still not using it for some reason. I don't know if he's gonna like use it after a while or what he's waiting for. But oh, we're using ours every time. Yep. Oh, we just got an achievement. Okay. I get up so we can put you in a fucking combo. Here we go. We got Luffy attacking right here. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure he might he might fuck around and die. Because honestly. Bro, he literally just keeps getting attacked. He's not popping. No, he's not he's not using his unity at all. Yep, unity clash. Here we go. Alright, so I guess our, our teammate attacks his teammate. Oh no, that uh right, that's actually pretty clean. I guess we win. I'm not win. I guess we have to actually defeat him now. Which is um I'm just gonna use Luffy one more time and then I'm gonna transform to gear second. Yep, there we go. Now we're gonna go gear second. Yo, I didn't mean to fucking do that. It's just this nigga attacks me every two seconds. We gotta transform again? Okay. We're not doing no uh no no assist. I'm not gonna lie, we're just gonna have to beat him. Holy shit. Ah, yeah, bro. You're doing a little too much, Pacifista. Ah, we literally have to use our unity assist. I'm not gonna lie. This nigga's beating the shit out of me. Okay. Let's see what her ultimate attack is. What is this, a mode? I'm about to say, she has to have some range attacks. All right, face spectrum. The fuck? Oh, okay, I remember this. <laughs> oh my god, okay. She got she kind of has like her own gotling type of attack. You can't use it for a long time though, I'm not gonna lie. You just have to kind of like spam it. Okay, we take down the pacifista, and I'm pretty sure that should result in a W. This is where Hancock jumps in the way. And then they don't attack us. Okay, and and that's it for today. I feel like we definitely got enough burning blood content. I don't want to just like kind of spam it on you guys, but let me know down below what y'all think. We've been getting very far in a story mode, man. We're gonna keep going on in the next video. 
Hope you all enjoyed this next video. We'll be starting off with the love of the pirate empress. Okay, so we'll probably start off with her and then we'll probably go on to Whitebeard. But I hope you all enjoy. ISO gang me out